so the first thing you need to do is to have it as your uh, the term one uh, term two and term three so now what you need to do is to subtract remember when you're growing it to say t2 minus t1 which is 0 minus minus 5 which is 5 and then you come here to say um, t3 minus t2 which is 5 minus 0 and you get 5 so that's why it's a linear because it has got a first difference we call this the first difference Once again, our most valued student, my name is Confident and welcome to the continuation of our revision session. And now I'm looking at question three of the November 2019. And this is for you guys who are doing their grade 11. So uh, just to recap again, uh, in the previous lessons, I have looked at the first question. Uh, so this is for November 2019, Maths Paper 1. I looked at um, question one. So if you are coming in contact for the first time with this channel, I will encourage you, please subscribe and ensure that the notification bell is turned on so that you can be notified every time I'm posting such. So this is a revision session. If you are subscribed, it will be easier for you to be following up on this channel so that every time there's a new video, you are, you are notified by YouTube. So as I said already, I've done question one, which means you need to go back and check it if this is not uh, or if you haven't seen this question question one I've done it I've uh, it was 26 marks I went on to do question number two which is 20 marks now we are looking at question number three and question number three is on number patterns it's out of six marks so it's gonna be a short section uh, or short um, uh, video but I just want to lay uh, uh, some bit of uh, foundation here on this part. So question three, as I said, is on patterns. It says given the linear pattern. So the moment they say linear, you need to understand by linear pattern, uh, there is a quadratic pattern and there's a linear pattern. So it says given the linear pattern minus five, zero, five, determine the general term Tn of the linear pattern. So now if I can take that to say, you are given this uh, linear term uh, minus five zero and um, five okay so this is what you're given so what do you do first so the first thing you need to do is to have it as your uh, the term one uh, term two and term three so now what you need to do is to subtract. Remember when you're growing it to say T2 minus T1, which is zero minus minus five, which is five. And then you come here to say um, T3 minus T2, which is five minus zero and you get five. So that's why it's a linear because it has got a first difference. We call this the first difference. So you can see that the first difference is consistent because after this you get a zero. So this is a linear term and how do you write a linear term tn um, to use now if we're talking about a linear term tn is equal to a n plus b that is that so this makes it linear but now someone will say what about quadratic there is a quadratic term which is tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c are you with me so we are not yet looking at this we are just looking at the linear one so this is quadratic and it's not part of it so we're saying tn is equal to a n plus b now what do you need you need to say uh find out the general term i think the question here says we need to determine the general term tn of the linear pattern this is how many marks two marks so one thing i want you to always remember 
is whenever you're looking at the general pattern, that first difference is equal to A. Are you with me? So that you've got Tn now is equal to 5N plus B. Are you seeing that? Then the next thing is for you to find B. So you can choose N, for example. Let's say you want to choose T2. You can say T2 is equal to 5. Now, where there is N now, I put that 2 because where there was an N, it became what? 2. So where there is an N again here, you put a 2. So it becomes what? Um, 5, 2 plus B. So which means here, if I say 5 times 2, uh, T2 is equal to 10 plus B. But I know what is my T2. T2 is equal to 0, which is equal to 0. So it means 10 plus B, this is B not 6. So I can now find B, take uh, 10 to the other side. So B is equal to minus 10. Then I can write the general term here to say Tn is equal to, now it was a n plus b, so I know my a is 5n minus 10. See, that is the answer. But um, there are also two ways you could have done it. So you could have said, now remember, the general form is Tn is equal to a n plus b. Let's say you didn't want to use this version. So what you do is, you come back with the first one, say T1 is equal to A, which we don't know, N is 1 plus B. Now we know what is T1, which is equal to minus 5. Again, T2 is equal to A, 2 plus B, and we know that it is equal to 0. I think that. So you've got two equations here, A times 1, which is A plus B is equal to minus 5. We can have that as equation 1. And then here you've got 2 times a, which is 2a plus b is equal to 0. This can be equation 2. So you can use it like as a simultaneous equation. You can subtract there to say equation 1 minus equation 2. So a minus 2a is minus a, b minus b, this will cancel. So is equal to minus 5 minus 0, which is minus 5. So you divide by negative 1 here. So you get your A is equal to 5. You see where I was getting that. Then from there, you can then choose to say, um, you can choose maybe equation A, equation 1, to say A plus B is equal to minus 5. But we know that A is what? A is 5. 5 plus B is minus 5 take 5 to join the other side then for it will give you your b to be what b to be minus 5 minus 5 which is equal to negative 10 that's what we got so it's up to you so you can write now this general term to say tn is equal to a which is 5n and then b is minus 10 which is 5n minus 10 the same answer that we got um in the in the first part are you with me then the next question says here calculate the value of t12 so it's simpler here we come here and say if you take it from here to say t12 is equal to 5 bracket 12 minus 10 you're getting that now 5 times 12 this is 60 minus 10 and t12 will give you 50. Uh, this is T12. Are you getting that? And then the other one, which term in the pattern has a value? Which term? So when they say which term, here they say calculate the value of T12. So this is term 12. But now if they say which term in the pattern is a value, so we want Tn because we don't know that term. So what you do, come to your formula here to say all right now i'm looking for tn so it will be in this scenario tn remember is equal to what 130 that's what actually i think they're saying here which term tn in the pattern has a value of 130 so we want the nth term so tn is 130 so what you do here you are saying 5n 
minus 10, it will give me what? 130. Then after that, take 10 to join there. You have got 5n is equal to 130 plus 10. Then you divide by uh, 5. Actually, before that, you can then say uh, 5n is equal to 140. That's when you divide by 5. All right. When you do that, it will give us um, n uh, is equal to and then if we're dividing the 140 divided by 5 it's 28 so so the question was which term in the pattern is a value of that so we are saying it's what this term is t12 is equal to 130 or you can say the 12th term the answer is either this one or is that one the 12th term and then they give you what they give you um six marks so guys i say it is going to be a short video because i'm doing question by question so this is how you would have answered question number three where it was linear patterns six marks still worth it nothing much really to say but I think you can see how you approach this now in the next section. I'm going to looking to look at question four and I think already you can have a sneak peek that we'll be talking about the quadratic pattern. So join me in the next lesson. Remember to subscribe and ensure the notification bell is turned on so that you're notified every time there's a new video. We have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.